what's going on guys it's your boy peter and i'm back again with another video today i'm going to be talking about tips on how to succeed studying aircraft maintenance engineering in school for you guys to know i went i personally went through the educational route to become an aircraft maintenance engineer um, it was a two-year program. I went to Centennial College here yeah, in Toronto, Ontario, and it was a two-year program. And I struggled a little bit, you know, especially my first year studying this program. But I'm here to share with you guys some few tips on how to pass this program because it is possible. It is an easy course. It could be a little bit challenging, but it is possible to pass it. My first tip I'm going to talk about on how to pass this program is attendance. Yes, attendance. You're like, man, how, did, how, is, how is attendance one of the points to pass this program? So for you guys who don't know, right, when you're in school, your attendance actually counts. I would say for 80% of the courses you're going to take, your attendance actually counts towards your um, your academic scores or your, your GPA. And those are one of the factors that we actually consider um, in, if you're going to actually pass the course or not. And I believe when I was in school, I think it was like you can only miss like five days or something like 95%. You can you can, you have to have an attendance of like 95%. And that is actually the regulation they have. Um, Transport Canada actually have. I don't know if it's Transport Canada or is it school. But anyways, we have to have like 95% attendance and it actually counts towards your academic scores um i remember people actually had a problem with this because they actually miss a lot of days um studying this program so when you guys are trying to get to the you know go through go through the school route and study this program i'm not sure about other countries but the school i went to here in Centen in um, toronto which is called centennial college attendance is actually one of the factors that we actually consider if you're going to pass that specific score um that specific course and for you guys to know there's something they call accreditation so basically you will have to pass that course 70 percent and above for you to be able to pass that course and get your accreditation so without you passing that 70 percent you cannot graduate the accreditation and for you to pass with 70 percent attendance is one of the factors that is actually being considered for you to pass a course so for you guys that are trying to get to the um to take this course please attendance you gotta know that attendance man you gotta come to school every day i know sometimes you no know, we have you a lot of human factors like you know we get sick you know what i'm saying like it's snowing outside like crazy weather but you gotta understand that you know this is one of the factors that you have to take serious the way you are studying every day, the way you are trying to, you know, pass these courses by studying, you got to make sure you take your attendance really serious because it's actually one of the one of the things that I actually consider you passing this course. The number two factor I'm gonna talk about, my two number two point I'm gonna talk about is actually time management. Yes. Um. So for you guys don't know, right? I came here to this country living alone at the age of sixteen. So I was going to school. Then also studying this program, you know, as a young guy studying and and I gotta go home and cook, do my laundry. I had to create a system for myself. You no, know, I said I had to manage my time, cause without me managing my time, there's no way I'll be able to pass this course and go home. Like imagine you studying so much in school, like almost six hours, then you gotta go home and cook. So, you know, it's not possible. It's not that easy. You know what I'm saying? It's possible, but it's not that easy. So I had to create the system. So one of the things that really helped me was before I go to school. You know, I had this um textbook called um. It was one of those Japanese textbook, and I would definitely recommend you guys you know getting one of those textbooks because it's a really really um useful textbook, especially for you guys that are trying to study this program. I would say. 60 70 percent of what you're going to study in school is actually from that textbook it's the, one of those japanese um effort my powerpoint or, or any japanese engine like it's a lot of um it's a lot of japanese that will actually help you out so yeah before i go to the classes i remember i will actually study a little bit before going to class so i already know what like the teacher will actually teach me in school and i remember too like one of my some of my professors will actually give us the whole power plant 
of what we're going to study for that semester so before me i go i always like study ahead of ahead of time i always study ahead of classes and when i finish when i finish um studying i always go to the library and try to like reverse on what i learned to school another thing that actually helped me out too was you know recording um i was recording whatever the professor was saying so that way sometimes you know you cannot listen to everything you cannot you cannot remember everything they tell you in class so that way i can always go back when i'm done you know from the day then i go to the library have my headphones on and i try to recap on what the professor um say so time management was a really big thing for me um for you guys that probably are parents here or you have family that can help you out with like other sector of your life they it might not be a big issue for for me i had to be you know i had to schedule everything you know from school. i remember some of my classes during my first semester my classes were like 6 a.m so i remember i wake up 6 a.m like around 5 go to school get to school like around 5 30 check my japanese textbook read for a little bit then my class start then i finish like like around 3 p.m then i go back home go to the library then study a little bit then go back home cook do the same thing every day you know what i'm saying so time management is something that we actually really help you to succeed this program the next thing i'm going to talk about is building relationship um when i mean building relationship i'm talking about building a relationship with your classmates um and i will, i can't really i can't count how many times man my classmate has helped me out um and not just not just teaching me something but also making sure i pass a course you know making sure i i am i'm on like i'm on my on my so my like i'm making sure i'm you no know, on the right steps in life you know what i'm saying that's why i tell people man you got to choose the right friends when you're in school you got to build the right relationship with the right people you know what i'm saying you got to find those people in class like you can tell within the first semester who you can tell the people that actually have goals in life you know you can actually tell people that you know taking this career a little bit more serious so for me it was like building a relationship with people that had goals was actually one of the factors that really helped me out to study man i remember i didn't have that much friends but the few friends i had were the ones that were taking these courses serious man i had a friend called farhan the guy was from india like this guy was super smart smart like a really smart guy like it was one of the guys that i know i can count on if i don't understand something i can go back to and he's going to explain to me right so building that really strong relationship um it's something that will tell you that will really with the right people will help you out a lot man because those those are the people that we that will be ready to help you out whenever the professor teach you something but you don't understand but those are the people that will actually help you out to pass that course that will explain everything for you everything to you you know what i'm saying and not only for academic academic um benefit but also when it comes to getting a job i tell people you know what i'm saying your friends in school are probably the first people that will help you out you know getting that first job my job i have right now is someone that i knew back in school that actually helped me out with this um, opportunity so building that really right relationship with the right people is one of the factors that actually helped me out um to pass this course the last point i'm going to talk about is utilizing school resources so for you guys i don't know about all the schools but the school i went to personally they had these um program whereby it's more of a tutorial program so basically for guys that are in second year um once you get to your second year you can actually apply to become a tutor um and one of the factors they will actually consider is they'll consider your grades are you really good at that course you're about to tutor um so guys in second year we actually come to guys in first year and tutors and the school and that's for you guys that are trying to look for like a quick cash um opportunity that's actually a good way to make fuel cash because they will actually pay you i remember in second year i actually applied for it and luckily your boy got some so i was getting a little you know what i'm saying that was one of the before my first paycheck when i was in school so you can actually so utilizing the school resources so i remember my first year i actually applied for it um so i got a tutor and this guy was really really smart too one of the guys that actually really helped me out um to to pass this course man because i remember he would tell me he had like few past questions you know on how the teacher the professor usually you know 
teach and how he usually make his questions for examination right so whenever i book a tutor with this guy the guy already okay this is how this guy usually has his questions this is what she expects in school so i was making sure i was you no know, utilizing those because we're paying for it you know it's part of your tuition you know what i'm saying so i was making sure i was utilizing those um um school resources man like the library was a good one because a lot of these textbook i didn't want to buy them you know what i'm saying like i didn't want to just buy a textbook for what, like one semester so back then my school they had all the textbook you know what i'm saying i only got one of those japanese but the rest i just went to the library and then make sure i you know returned it that was i'm done right so yeah for you guys that try to get to the to study this program utilizing the school resources once you get to your school make sure you find any resources you can you know that can help you out to pass this program so those are my few points on how i succeeded succeeded this program when i was studying aircraft maintenance engineer it's a little bit difficult to study your first thing, but it is possible to pass. Trust me. If I can pass, if my friends can pass, like I know guys that I'm not surprised they even pass. If they can pass, trust me, it is possible to pass. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys have any questions, uh, for you guys don't know, I am Peter, an aircraft maintenance engineer. Uh, I've been in this industry for almost five years in maintenance specifically. Um, and I'm always here to help you guys. We can always schedule a call. Um, feel free to text me on Instagram. I'm going to drop my Instagram in the comment section in the description. Feel free to text me anytime if you have any questions regarding this course or this program. And I'm always here to help you guys, man. For you guys that are new to my channel, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, man. Love you guys.